اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم I seek refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from shaitan or Satan the outcast. I begin with the name of God Almighty who is always most gracious and most merciful to all of his creations without exceptions. My dearest beloved brothers and sisters in Al-Islam, I greet you with a salutation of peace and happiness. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. May the peace and blessings of the master creator of the heavens and the universe be showered upon all of us and together we all pray for divine guidance. Today's topic, the coming day. The coming day. What's so special about the coming day? The coming day is the day of judgment when we will all stand before our creator to be judged what did we do with our life that we had. And then if we did good things, then we'll enjoy the next life, the life hereafter. If not, then we will suffer. So let's go to the coming day. Death will surely carry man off. On the day of death, the angels will come to take man before his Lord. Who? The angels are coming to take us all before our Lord. It will not be long before man is carried off. But people know only about this happening to others. We witness it happening to other people. We were alive, strong, healthy, and we are saying, this is not for me, this is for them. Mistake, big mistake. They do not realize that the same fate awaits them, but we have to wait in line for our turn. They gossip about the demise of others. We talk about it. But they forget that one day the angels will also take them before the Lord to be judged. We will all be taken before the master creator to be judged and others will be talking about us now. Just like how we did talk about the rest, other people will be speaking about us. People are good at finding faults in others, but they would do better to find faults in themselves. They try to save themselves by justifying their actions, but they can only be saved by admitting their faults. So we do a lot of wrong things and we justify it, that it's correct. But we have to remember that day is coming when no one will be there to defend us but we'll stand on our own and then we'll be proven to be a liar. The day when man is taken before God will be the most awesome of days. If one is really aware of what this day means, one's whole life will change. One will live in this world but one's mind will be focused on the hereafter. One will weigh oneself today on the divine scales of justice on which everyone will be placed after death. One who fears the hand of God will look on everyone's death as if it were his own. When he sees someone being taken to a human court in handcuffs, he will think of his own fate when he is brought into the divine court to be judged by the Lord of the universe. The coming day, and that's the day when the divine scales of justice will be brought out in the courts of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala where justice will be dispensed the way justice ought to be dispensed. That's right. Justice, divine justice, and every man will be judged accordingly. And there, no one can interfere with that type of justice. So let's remember that and have our faith in that and believe that this is the final day. So let's try for excellence. So on that day when the divine skills of justice are brought out, our good deeds will outweigh our bad deeds and the angels and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, enter into my Jannah, insha'Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.